Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be talking about how to develop a smart contract for a simple lottery game. So as you can see, this is a remix, uh, remix ID. We have uh, seen a tutorial of remix before this also. So the website is remix.ethereum.org. Let's go and create a new workspace. Let's call it lottery. You can call it whatever you want. And let's get rid of all these uh, pre made files. Delete. We don't need this. We also don't need the test. Read me also. Let's get rid of this. Okay, great. So now we have a empty a workspace let's create a new file and call it lottery dot sol sol stands for solidity okay so the first step that we have to do is always declare an spdx license so we do that by uh, adding a comment spdx hyphen license identifier and we keep it MIT because uh, this is like a general license that we can use it does not have a lot of restriction next step is to declare the solidity version let's go with 0 0.8 point let's say 9 and all the statements have to end with a semicolon so pragma solidity is basically the syntax to mention what solidity version do we want to uh, compile. Uh, then let's initiate our contract lottery. This is how we initiate a contract in uh, remix or rather in solidity. Let's click on control S and we have okay. 0.8.7 we can switch it to 13 and now the error is gone now let's start with our uh, lottery smart contract let's add a constructor We don't want to pass anything to the constructor for now but for administration we will be needing uh, an owner address right so let's declare it first ADDR address let's keep it public so and everyone can see who is the owner and let's call it owner you also have to mention that in the constructor so who, whoever is going to deploy this will be the owner of this smart contract and this is how the syntax looks like message.sender is the person who is currently deploying it we will also be needing a winner address right since it's a lottery there will be one winner address let's declare that as well and there will be a players array address public let's call it players right so these are our variables the addresses that we'll be needing let's create a modifier because there will be few functions that only the owner we will be able to perform right so the modifier for owner will be let's say only owner and we will have to add a require statement msg dot sender should be equal to the owner address that we have set and we always have to end this with 
an underscore and a semicolon so that takes care of our only owner modifier now let's create a function to enter the lottery this is similar to buying a ticket for the lottery let's comment it out enter a uh, enter the lottery function so let's call it function enter and let's make it public so basically here what we have to do is whenever someone is entering the lottery we have to push that in the players array so that can be done by players dot push msg dot sender let's see if this compiles correctly okay so we are having a error it's function let's try again okay so that was my spelling mistake so as you can see the uh, contract is being compiled to compile you can press control s and it compiles in this function the player are not uh, purchasing the ticket by paying anything right they are directly being pushed which is not correct in real life also while uh, while you want to take part in a lottery you have to pay for the ticket right so we will have to make this function payable so let's say the people have to the players have to pay one ether just for simplicity purposes we can add a require statement the msg dot value should be equal to one ether if it is not equal to one ether We will display this error so anytime uh, someone wants to enter the lottery they have to pay one ether this is what it means also our msg dot sender should be declared payable and our addresses of players should also be payable and everything is compiled so this is how a player can enter the lottery the next step is to uh, declare who is the winner right but to get that we need to have some randomness some random picking of the winner we cannot just pick ourselves right that is not ethically correct so let's create a function where we can get a random number so let's call it function random and it is going to be public view and it will return a uint and this function will have certain ksac256 uh, hashing that will give us a random number so this is how the code looks like Uh, although this is not the best practice to do uh, 
this uh, hashing uh, hashing algorithm but uh, for now for uh, simplicity purposes we can have this uh, this will give us a random value uh, from the uh, total number of players that we have uh, since blockchain is of deterministic nature this value can be uh, manipulated or predicted by some hackers uh, there are more advanced ways like using chain link for getting random number but uh, this for this tutorial it is it would be too advanced for us this is just a simple lottery smart contract let's move ahead uh, to pick the winner let's call this function pick winner it will be public and only owner can uh, call this function let's declare a uint of index and this is how we can use the random uh, number function that we have defined earlier modulo players array dot length so this line means that uh, whatever is the length of players array how how many players we have let's say four five whatever is the length uh, use the random function on that so that we get uh, the number random number from our players only now that we have the index let's transfer reward to whoever is the winner from our players array that can be done by players the index whoever has won dot transfer address this dot balance so what this means is from the players array whoever is the winner index just transfer address this means this smart contract has some fun uh, players have entered 1-1 one, one ether and the ether was stored in smart contract so whatever is the balance of this smart contract transfer everything to the winner also we need that to display right who has won so we will uh, add that winner is equal to players index now that uh, the winner is declared we have to empty the array for next round correct so reset the state this is how we do it So that is pretty much it. Let's compile. Yes, everything works. Okay. Let's test if it works. Uh, let's go to lottery is correct. Compiled. Let's go to the deploy section. We will be using the JavaScript VM. We have our fake 10 accounts with 100 ethers each for testing. And let's click on deploy. okay so now we have our functions here let's say i want to enter with account 2 right i click on enter i cannot because it says insufficient funds passed i'll have to give one ether to enter so let's change it to ether value will be one now if i try to enter 
see i have entered uh, let's try to enter with this account the third one give value of one ether and click on enter so we are done with two accounts let's go to the fourth account give value of one ether and enter so we have three accounts entered now let's try to pick winner uh, just from not from the owner account because this is the fourth account right the first one was the account which we used to deploy so if i click on pick winner it should give me an error see let's go to the admin account let's click on pick winner and we see let's see who is the winner address ending with 02 db also the uh, balance will also be more see 02 db and his uh, balance is 1.101.99 uh, rest of them are at 98 and 98 so that is basically how we code a simple lottery smart contract uh, you can also find the link to this code in my description you can check that out and if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel we'll be coming with more and more of these tutorials thank you this is yash signing off see you in the next one